And on the way in, after we had prayed some this afternoon, on the way in, uh, walking in here tonight, I met a lady from Lancaster. Where is she? Stand up. There she is. And she stopped me, and she said, I came all the way from Lancaster to hear you say something that I haven't heard you say on the web. That was exactly what she said. And I, so I came in here. And Peter had me do a podcast when I got here. And I came in here and I said, Lord, I want you to answer that woman's prayer. Now, and I said, and I'm just going to go. I'm going to wait until I see you answer her, her prayer. And when we started praying in tongues and praying in the Spirit, all of a sudden, this, it was a literal angel with a key that fit in the ground came down and unlocked the ground here. Now, before I go on, and, I, and all I'm going to do is show you, is tell you what he said tonight and tell you what happened once that happened. Now, so when this angel came down, and the ground unlocked, all of a sudden it was a great motion through here. And remember, we're, you, you might feel you're in time right now, but the motion that occurred when the unlocking of that ground occurred is about to take you to somewhere else. And Peter, that, that word Joshua was saying uh, was in that moment. See, that seemed like a moment, but we don't ever know how long God's moments are. He, the timing of the way he does things isn't the way we do things. In the spirit realm, it's totally different. But one of the things he said was, you'll have back-to-back -back acquisitions. So that word he gave, that is for y'all. And uh, I'll, I probably won't share fully what I saw happen with that until Sunday. But get ready, that word is for you. That was a, that was a word from the Lord, and it was for you too. It might be for many of us in here. But it was, it was for you. I wrote it down for you. And see, that's how when we're in a setting like this, and this is what Tricia was talking about, we're not in uh, uh, the same type of gatherings we were in before God pulled us aside and said you can't gather for a while. And that's what I want you to remember. God pulled us aside and said, I don't want you gathering for a while. Because you don't know how to gather the way I want you to gather in the future. Therefore, you can go with government, you can go with COVID, you can go with China, and I've been in China since 1980. They got lots of things planned for us. That's all I'm going to say about it. I've written enough about it. They have lots of surprises planned for America in days ahead. But in the midst of this, you're going to have to know when God decides to use what the enemy's doing to set your course for the future. And that's what started happening last March. He started using what the enemy was trying to do to set our course so we will triumph over him. Look at somebody and say, get ready, you're going to triumph.
and I, I even yelled out when this angel came down and stood next to me at, because he only said these words to me. He said, get ready for a root ride. Get ready for a root ride. Write it down right now. Get ready for a root ride. He said, a root ride. Say it out loud so you get it. Because when God sends an angel down to say it to us, he wants us to get it. He said, get ready for a root ride. And then he took this key, and I can't even explain what that key looked like. It, doesn't, it didn't look like a key the way you think, we think keys look. It looked like some divine glory made structure that went into the ground and unlocked it. And then all of a sudden, and I never had I planned to do this. This is her doing this. Because God wanted this done from here. And all of a sudden when that angel unlocked it, now I want you to understand what happens, and you're going to have to get ready for this. Matter, matter, matter of fact, you might as well stand up. Because there's a root going to come up under you. Might as well just spread your legs a little and say, I'm going to get on this thing. You're going to have to move with me. <laughs> now, and, and all of a sudden these roots down and it was here these roots down deep from this ground and I, you know I've written a history, uh, history book but that isn't how God does anything with me but Chad you're going to have to come up here and get moving with him now you can get on the piano I'm, you're going to have to move it you're going to have to move it with me now all of a sudden these roots underneath us started moving and they the root was a root but it was made of words and all of a sudden it would move and when it would move up into the first heaven that we're standing in right now because it, it was down five layers in the earth realm now I didn't plan to do any of this, so don't ask me what it means. That is not my job tonight. My job is just to tell you what's about to come up between your legs and start moving. It's going to catch you or you're going to have to catch it because this thing got unlocked. When this end angel came down, I don't even know what the angel's name was. I didn't have even the to ask him, who are you? Because he said, get ready for a root ride. And then he stuck that key from heaven into the ground here. And all of a sudden, the ground moved from five layers down. I'm assuming that is five centuries down. These roots started shifting and coming up, and they had these words on them. And I'll share them in the order because I, once I realized I was in a different realm, I sat down and I wrote the words down. The first word was prosperity. It's a deep root. It's a very deep root here. And the Lord said, I'm going to have to move that root up through because it has been layered over and layered over. And all of a sudden, this root started coming up through all of this layer of debris and blood 
and all sorts of bone structure and all of a sudden it came out and it went up out up between some of you some of you need to say I want to ride that root out I'm telling you the Lord says get ready this thing's about to move out for how it has not been able to move in the last five centuries and those who want to grab hold to the root or jump on that root get ready to jump on it when it comes by you and let it take you where it wants to position you and place you for your future here was the next root it had the word revolution on it that means that can mean several things that means cycle after cycle after cycle is coming into a motion in such a way that it will create another cycle god said tonight revolution starts moving it's a root that is in this ground here the crossroads of revolution it came up through the blood of revolution it had great these words were in a reddish gold and it had this incredible uh, engraved living like a heartbeat and all of a sudden it penetrated and came out of the ground and from that moment forward we are starting to ride that route starting tonight tell somebody I, I'm afraid to get on that route if you're afraid to get on the route of revelation don't get on the route of revelation Re revolution the Lord says if you'll get on the route of revolution I'll give you revelation over how to ride it It was the third root. The third root said liberation. He said, I am causing the ground that has captured liberation to give up that root, and I will have people who liberate many in days ahead. Some of you are called to be liberators. I know enough in history to know that New Jersey was, gave women right to vote, then took it away. That's what has happened in America over and over and over given freedom and take it away. God says the root of liberation is coming out. The fourth word was captivity breakout. Captivity breakout. The Lord says, years after years, what I intended to come forth was captured. And now I have come to unlock, unlock captivity breakout so every place where I came and my spirit touched this ground and it was captivated again will now come forth and break out in a multiplied form tell somebody get ready to ride that route now listen people You've got to see the way this looked. These roots started coming from deep and coming up. And when they hit the atmosphere, it wasn't God's choice. It was our choice to get on it and let it take us where it needed to take us. 
this is going to be our choice to jump on these next roots that are now coming up to display and move and produce the fruit for this season in our bloodlines and in this nation. The next root was strange root. It said industrial, creative, remake industrial creative remake the Lord says get ready from what was I meant to birth from this area that would change the world and how it got covered over I say get ready that root of industrial creative remake is now going to burst up through the land again. Some of you say, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do any of this. The Lord says, get on the root. Ride the root. If you'll ride the root, it'll give you new fruit. Say that out loud. If I'll ride the root, it will give me new fruit. Here was the next root. It said divine communication acceleration. The Lord said, what I start doing from the original intent of what I planned in this, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add this in this 13 colony region is going to create a divine communication acceleration that will overthrow Leviathan in this land. Next root said this, freedom from narrow conformity and solitaire. He said, so many have fallen in isolation and the enemy has had a plan for isolation and I say the root that is going to break the power of isolation between sex, between sexes, between groups, between races, that root is getting unlocked tonight. This is the only thing I can see. Let me add this as I see, gain some understanding of what I'm seeing. The Lord says some will get on these particular roots and that will be their life call for the future. Some will say, help me on this root. I'm afraid to even climb a tree. Therefore, I'm really afraid when the root system starts coming up into this atmosphere because I know the root system is going to replant much in me. The Lord says, get ready. You are in for a movement you are not even aware of. For I have sent an angelic messenger to unlock the ground that is called that is holding the movement captive and you have gathered in a way that has caused him to come and the unlocking has begun now yes we'll start hearing of earthquakes you need to write every place you hear 
because that means that root structure has jarred loose layers layers that have tried to cover over the move of God get ready and if you're standing in the midst of one which I've been in a couple all you do get in the doorway and say let it move I'm standing right here in the door I'll move on through the door get ready a movement happened tonight Joshua the Lord says you get ready your life's about to change I'm going to start moving with you and that message will accelerate and move the Lord says you're going to be going beyond even your understanding of the three layers of my word that you have moving through your blood and there is a fourth layer that will move you in with fire and from your mouth will be fire fiery glory that penetrates people it's going to be as if you'll be standing in groups of people when that fiery glory comes out and they will be transparent you will see pinpoint through their bodies things that are not working right and I say you will call forth that part and that part will form saith the Lord the Lord says get ready I am moving in a new way starting tonight and you brought me back to the root of this land and I say, and from the root, I have created a root ride for an entire nation. There's three other roots I saw. Now, there might be many that come, you know, how roots work. The next one was divine reversals multiply the very thing he was describing from the Word of God there was a root and it said divine reversals multiplied is about to break through in people's life those who want to ride that root I say jump on it and ride it to the end I'm going to say this next one and then I'm just going to prophesy out of it because I saw it and then I heard it. It said divine gatherings to break the power of night hag. Divine gatherings to break the power of night hag. And I would even say to this place, know this, within three years, there will be divine gatherings in this place where people draw in, not by a promotion, but they will hear, because I will dispatch a host that will bring in a host, saith the Lord. And as they bring in this host, this host will begin to say, we are going to come in and where the night hag is controlling entire sections and entire cities the night hag will now have to face off glory swords coming from this place i say to you get ready for divine gatherings to defeat the night hag is now or have now been unlocked don't let me go any further. If you have had in your bloodline fear of the night, I want you to lift your hand right now. And Lord, I say right now, the power that's breaking out of us, we're going to break off night terrors. Night terrors is coming out of our blood. I speak to the night, night hag by the Spirit of God and by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I say, your voice is stopped from torturing God's people. I say there will be a move of forgiveness 
and freedom from fear in the body of Christ that will cause the church to become a light in the night. Everybody shout a light in the night. The last root said, divine release and sending of glory. The Lord says, my glory has been captured in the land. And every time an injustice was occurred, it layered over my glory. And I say to you, now there's been an unlocking you will hear what captured my glory and you will hear the divine strategy to reverse that captivity. I say get ready for the root of divine release of glory that will unlock redemptive purposes that have been captured. Now is moving through the earth realm. There will be a shaking in iniquitous stronghold places and instead of you seeing strongholds topple you will see the earth give up the glory that has been captured father we honor you for choosing to come here tonight beyond our present understanding beyond our present ideas of awakening beyond our thoughts of states and nations and father you started a movement so deep from the ground that you have longed to see happen that that movement will now spread and the fruit of it will be seen in nations throughout the world. But this nation will see the shaking forth of the loud latter house glory. And greater will be the latter house glory than the former glory. Now, let's just stand here for a minute. I say that because I saw us losing our footing to regain our footing. When the root that we needed to rise came up, we just had to get on it. Father, we know your thoughts are beyond our thoughts. Your ways are beyond our ways. But we tell you tonight, we're a people ready to ride. We're a people ready to go with where your root that you had planned takes us. We submit ourselves to you here at this place that you determine to form a nation from. Now I want you to see that. He chose this place, the very place we're at right here, for a nation to make a choice to form. 
And he sent an angel tonight to say, I'm unlocking everything that's been captured, that's kept it from manifesting what it needed to display who I am. Now, Father, we thank you that your roots will extend into Washington, D.C. Your roots will even go into the New Jersey State House. Your root will extend back across the Delaware where Washington crossed. Your root will extend back into a place where you gave Hamilton vision. And Father, what couldn't be accomplished, you'll bring it forth in a new way in this season. Father, I make the statement from Joel chapter 2. Your land will rejoice again. Now grab a hold of somebody, agree with them that this land will rejoice again. Now tell them, you can ride this roof when you see it, when you feel it, just jump on it and take it till new fruit is coming forth. Shout new fruit from the roof.